Hey people, this is my first narrated drawing time-lapse video. Today's drawing is one of several I did for an initiative I called 100 Hands. This was inspired by a video by one of my favorite YouTube artists, Jake Parker. His video is called Design 100 Somethings. In the intro, he talks about improving as an artist by picking something you struggle with and drawing that thing 100 times. I will provide a link to his video in the description below. I struggle to draw hands, so I certainly haven't drawn 100 of them yet, but I did do about 9 or 10. This one I'm drawing here is a picture that a friend submitted to me. And I really like the pose because you have this really great splay of the fingers and the pinky especially is showing some really interesting foreshortening. And I just really liked the expressiveness of the pose. So as you can see here, I tend to start out with really, really light sketching. And I try to make a really general shape. You can see I kind of started with a almost like a mitten. <laughs> That's a new eraser I got pretty recently. Uh, the pink pearl that everybody seems to have is just not cutting the mustard anymore. Uh, I switched to that one and I might even go to one of those malleable gray erasers because they're even better. This one was one of my more difficult pieces to work on. I had to do a lot of reworking. And I kept getting distracted by my phone and Facebook and, you know, I'm very distractible. Alright, switch to a mechanical pencil. Don't have to worry about things getting dull. One less thing to worry about. I feel like this needs a soundtrack like Flight of the Bumblebee or something to encapsulate the frantic pace. First love was always drawing. I love that. It's very forgiving medium. You can erase, you can sketch very lightly, and just doing it over and over again is very easy. I will again reference Mr. Jake Parker. One of his favorite sayings is, finished, not perfect. And it's something that I struggle with, is that I want to not present it to the world. And by it, I mean, you know, my art, unless it's to my, my own personal standards. And the problem with that is, it means that very little gets completed because you just tend to throw things away or never 
never show them to anybody, and so he likes to stress the importance of uh, the psychological benefit of completing things, even if they're not perfect, because then you can move on and learn more and continue to, to grow as an artist. So I've been trying to take his mantra to heart and complete things and keep moving forward. So like this hand, I know we'll we'll get to the end and you'll see how it turned out and it turned out okay, but you know, I'm my own worst critic, aren't we all? And I know it wasn't perfect, but it's important to say Yes, that's true, but it was it was done, and I called it done, and moved on. So. And that's a fun artistic debate you can get in with a a friend would be the the merit of photorealism versus expression. You'll have artists who will swear that nothing's worthwhile unless it's photorealistic. And I find that's <laughs> a really tall order and <laughs> a little, little too much to handle, but sometimes it's more important to just get your point across, to just express something, you know, make somebody think, make somebody feel something. not necessarily just wow them with, oh, it looks like a photo. Like, okay, but what did it make you feel? Oh, that pinky finger. I wasn't pleased with that finger. Like a darn pig's hoof <laughs> by the time I was done with it, but good for the practice. Perspective is hard. Maybe that'll be the next drawing challenge is 100 foreshortened images, oh god. <laughs> that would be difficult, but that's why you do it, it's hard. As you can see, there's a lot of just staring at it and pondering that I do. It's mercifully sped up, but you can see I just look at it and just, what do I do? How do you know when your art is done? When you're tired of staring at it. Alright, so we're in a stage where we're darkening some lines and uh, really committing to a few of them. Got the uh, proportions I was hoping for now. Drawing hands is this weird compromise between trying for realism with the wrinkles, but not going overboard with the wrinkles, because, you know, there's this happy medium you want to strike with wrinkles for realism, but not wrinkles for, like, <laughs> making your hand look like an old woman, you know? It's, it's a balancing act.
Like, clearly the image that I'm going off of has way more wrinkles. Ooh, blurry. <laughs> Alright, now we're really committing to it. We got the uh, inking going on. I use microns, I swear by them. I have a ton of micron pens. This is, let's see, what size did I use? Probably a 0.3, it's my usual. 0.3 or a 0.5, one or the other. It's definitely the scariest part by far of any piece is, unlike the rest, I cannot erase, I cannot undo, no control Z for inking, certainly. But uh, also, weirdly, one of the most satisfying, because I know I'm nearing done. Yep, just not happy with that pinky, goodness. Well, there are better pinkies out there. Just have to draw more pinky. In retrospect, I should have used a uh, smaller nib for those wrinkles. But uh, live and learn. done. Thank you so much for watching my video, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Have a great day.